Hi, welcome to FPTV News. I'm Alexa Asta. And I'm Lindsay Lee. And this is the news. SGA passes new club on campus. NCAA announces player of the week. Intramural signups are in the foyer. Sunday's open house was a success. Men's baseball victory. Upgrades occurring across campus. Snowstorm predicted next week. This is FPTV News. Twenty-six students battled the chilling temperatures Thursday afternoon as the Anthropology Club had held an at-lateral throwing contest on Manor Hill. Both club members and passers-by showed up on the hill between 2 to 5 p.m. to try to claim the big prize. Ten students walked away with gift cards. Contestants were trying to throw at smaller targets marked with different prices, starting at $10, going up to $100. Junior America Freeman, an Anthropology Club member who helped put on the event, said, Nobody was able to hit the $100 target, but we were rooting for them. Today was a really good turnout. Kids and staff seem to enjoy it, even though it's cold. The Anthropology Club is looking forward to their next event, which should take place before Thanksgiving break, where they will be making gift baskets to raffle off. Next up, Pierce Activities Council is working in conjunction with student involvement to bring back the second annual Haunted House as part of the Pumptober Fest, which is this Friday from 6 to 10 p.m. in the Granite parking lot. The Haunted House will be set up in the Granite parking lot. Junior Kaylin Puzo, PAC's vice president, said in an in-person interview, we love this event because we like to create a fun and thrilling environment for our fellow students. And since Halloween is on a weekday, we figured that we would wait until the start of the weekend. PAC is looking for volunteers to help assist in scaring the people who will be willing to walk through the house. Costumes will be provided for the volunteers, but volunteers are allowed to bring their own costume too. A live DJ will be performing, and there will be opportunities to take part in games and win prizes. Food as well as pumpkin carving will be available to students. PAC put out an email as of Tuesday the 28th looking for volunteers to come join in Scaring the Brave. Sophomore Greg Perez, who took part in Scaring the Students last year, said in a person interview, This is a really great event on campus, especially if you had a tradition of seeing a haunted house back home. It's a fun experience filled with scares and laughs. The games are a lot of fun and the prizes are awesome. Now on to sports. The men's soccer team punched their ticket into the NE10 tournament as the seventh seed, a remarkable feat considering the team's dreadful 1-7 start. Junior midfielder Noam Kowalski returned for injury and was the key cog in the Ravens' run of six consecutive wins as they finished the final half of their schedule. Kowalski, a two-time NE10 player of the week, set a new personal best in goals with seven and game-winning goals with four. The Ravens will travel to face number 19 nationally ranked Southern New Hampshire tonight at 7 p.m. Shifting over to women's ice hockey, sophomore forward Nicole Amato of the Franklin Pierce University women's ice hockey team has been named New England Women's Hockey Alliance Player of the Week for the week ending on October 28th, as announced on Tuesday morning by the NEWHA. Amato scored three goals in a week for the Ravens. She did all her damage in Sunday afternoon's home opener, which was a 6-1 win over visiting Becker. Amato scored three times, including the game winner on Friday first period power play to record her third career hat trick. She also recorded nine shots on goal and finished plus two on the week. On the young season, Amato has played in all four games for the Ravens. She is currently tied for third on the team in scoring with six points on five goals and one assist. She has scored two power play goals and one game winning goal. Amato has yet to take a penalty this year, has recorded 22 shots on goal and is currently plus four. The Ravens return to the ice on Friday, November 2nd, when they travel to St. Anselm for a New England Women's Hockey Alliance contest. Opening face-off is set for 7 p.m. at Sullivan Arena in Manchester, New Hampshire. Sticking with hockey, the women's program picked up their 100th win this past Sunday in a 6-1 drubbing over Becker. Nicole Amato led the way with a hat trick. Meg, Gilbride, Allie Sugar, and Haley Parker also scored for the Ravens, who outshot the Hawks 38-17. The Ravens remain perfect on the season at 4-0-0, while the Hawks fall to 0-2-0. Jessica Strack stopped 16 of 17 shots for her second win of the season. Senior goaltender Julia Johnson made 32 saves in defeat to put her record at 0-1-0. The Ravens are back in action this Friday, November 2nd, when they travel to Manchester to face off against St. Anselm. Puck drop for the Sullivan Center is set for 7 p.m. 
Thanks for watching FPTV News. I'm Alexa Asta. And I'm Lindsay Lee. And tune in next week for the news.